What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can repair Windows 10 using the command prompt. Now using the command prompt you can use a bunch of different commands to try to repair a corrupt Windows 10 operating system. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now you want to follow through make sure you watch the whole video. So first off we're going to go down to the search box and type CMD and run this as administrator. Once we open up the command prompt here, the first one we're going to do is SFC space forward slash scan. Now what this utility is going to do is basically scan the uh, Windows system and try to find any sort of corruption with those files and it will then replace those files and fix them for you. So it does take a bit of time, but it's worth doing uh, because it does uh, actually find corrupted files on the operating system. Next up, we're going to go to DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash check health now this is a command that you can use to check whether there is any sort of corruption and you can run this command in the command line as administrator and then it will basically run through the checks so just let that go and uh, push enter once this is finished so we'll just finish off here now it doesn't have to be in capitals you can put capitals on there if you wish uh, for the uh, letters C and I and C and H for health and so on. It doesn't really make no difference. You can see it's telling us there's no component stored corruption detected. Next up, we're going to go DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. Now, what this is going to do is basically this is going to scan the Windows image for any sort of corruption and then it will basically detect that. So just again, type that out and uh, push enter and let that run. OK, it does take a fair bit of time. So just be patient and let it finish its scan. Once that's done, we can move on to uh, the next one. Now, the next one is going to basically restore the health. So we'll just uh, let this run. And you can run this sequence of commands to try and fix any sort of corruption on uh, the Windows operating system. So if you've got a problem with Windows, try these first. This is the best method. Start off from SFC scan now. Now, if these do fix your problems, you can then run SFC scan now uh, to actually verify that all the problems have been fixed and resolved. So next up, what we're going to do is let this finish off. It's still got the command prompt there, so it means it's doing something. We just need to let it tell us whether there is any problems with the system. So just be patient there, and it will just pop up with uh, the uh, message there. There we go. It's now done. So no component store corruption detected. So if you do see the corruption there, then you need to uh, fix it. So we also have the DISM space forward slash online space forward slash checkup dash image space forward slash restore health and then space forward slash source colon repair then source and then backslash install dot win that's the next one we need to type in it's a bit of a long code i will leave these in the video description so you can just copy and paste them and run them at your own leisure just saves you from having to type this out and I will leave them there so you can just copy and paste them in. So what this is going to do is fix the Windows image. All you need to do is type this out or copy and paste it and then push enter. And then it will run a check and then fix it. Now, I will say that if you've got malware on the system or anything like that, then it's not going to fix that problem. So just make sure that it's not a malware related issue or some sort of other issue. If it's a corrupt uh, Windows image, then you can then use this to uh, fix it. So this is the next command. Now, once you've run this, you can run SFC scan now to make sure that the image is all fixed and working properly. So we just need to let this uh, scan finish. So you can see here we're at 25% uh, here. It does take a bit of time to do, depending on, I suppose, how much uh, size your image is will determine how long it takes. So you can see this is a virtual machine, so it's not taking that long at all but yours may take a bit longer, so just be patient. Now you want to run these in sequence, as I've said, and hopefully this will rectify any problems with Windows 10. So we're at 99% now, and now we're at 100. Now it will tell us whether that uh, problem has been resolved. It should say a message at the end of the screen here, 
If you see the command prompt still there, near the 100%, then it still hasn't finished, so you just need to let it finish. And the restore operation completed successfully. You can see it's told us that right there. So next up, we're gonna use the fresh start, and this is using the system reset space dash clean PC command. Now make sure that you do have backups of all your data. I know sometimes it says it's not going to delete your data, but it's always best to make a precaution and back up the data yourself. Fresh start, this will remove all the apps and programs except those that come with the standard with Windows. Any store apps installed uh, by your manufacturer will also be kept. Your device will be updated to the latest version of Windows. Your personal files and Windows settings will be kept. This process does take about 20 minutes or longer depending on, I suppose, how fast your PC is. And you'll tell, it'll tell you there basically some of the apps that have been removed. So you may lose some apps here, so be very careful. Um, the, it does state that it's keeping your data, but I would rather you back up your PC before you did this method here. Now you could also um, do a fresh install completely if you wanted to, but try this first and see how this goes. You can see it's starting to install Windows. I've speeded this process up so it doesn't uh, bore you to tears but basically you can see here it's just doing a fresh start with Windows 10 so you're letting it update here and there we are we're at the desktop you can see the apps have now been removed so if you've got any programs installed or anything like that it will remove them and it will leave a little uh, shortcut on the desktop saying removed apps there so you can check that out so that is a more of aggressive way of trying to resolve your problem sometimes it leaves you no option but to do something like this to try to fix it and that's why that command is there. Now there is other options you can do. You can use system restore. You can, you can do this from the command prompt if you wish. If you have the system restore feature enabled. Now it needs to be enabled and configured. But all you need to do here is type in rstrui.exe. Push that and it will open up the system restore. And you should see a restore point there. If you don't have one and you get a big red cross then that means you haven't got system restore enabled and you can't roll back to a system restore point. That is the reason why I didn't put it before the fresh start because most people haven't even enabled system restore and this won't be an option for you. So that is gonna be about it for this video. Hope this one helps you out. Hopefully this will fix any sort of corruption with your Windows 10 operating system. And uh, if it does, then let me know in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Got a build video coming up this week, so stay tuned for that. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.